Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of April the 16th, 2024. And I hope all of you are having a great week. And with that said, let's jump into this week's housing market data. And of course, the big topic that we all care about, whether buyers or sellers, is the median list price or the average price of homes in our area. And as to be expected, we are still on track with the trend that we expected to see where house prices are climbing. And so on a 90 day average, we see this consistent slope upwards for home prices. And so going back to March 8th, we are up almost $20,000 for median list price right now at $271,814. However, that number is down $40,000 from where we were last year. And now the issue has been that when we had this boom in the market back here after COVID, house prices soared because of the demand for homes. But when interest rates rose, house prices didn't immediately respond by coming down. Coming into the last quarter of last year, and then moving into where we are now, you see where the market started to respond and realize that house prices are too high to match the buyer's market in relation to the rising interest rates. And so the real question right now is, where is all this going to stabilize out at? This trend of upward prices currently is seasonal activity. So this is to be expected. We see the same increase coming into the spring of 2023. Same thing as we got well into the spring, moving into the summer of 2022. So this spike here is expected and the expectation would be for it to continue to some degree, but how far? And that goes to the data point that we've been talking about that we need to match with these median list prices, which is properties with the price decrease. And if we look on the 90 day average, that number is still sitting at close to 40%, which in this case is 8.7% above expected averages being 30%. So home prices are going up, but the percentage of home owners or sellers that are having to decrease their original list price is also increasing. So to put it in practical terms, what's the point in listing your home at X amount of dollars if you're only gonna end up dropping it to this amount of dollars anyways to get it sold? Now, granted, in a lot of scenarios, there's pricing strategies, there's reasons to, to list your home on the higher side of the, the price range that a realtor gives you. I understand all of that. I'm just saying that the national expected average for this number in a healthy market, in a balanced market is 30%. We are over that number by almost 12% right now. If we segment the market, which we always say when you're looking at these reports, and by the way, these reports are free. If you would like to receive these reports to your inbox weekly for free, leave me a comment, send me an email, give me a call or text any way that you want to contact me. And I will add you to the list and have these sent to your email weekly for free. And please remember that when you're looking at these reports, we say it every week to segment the market. So click this market segment and segment your portion of the market or the portions of the market that you're interested in according to price. And so we have bottom 90 day, lower 90 day, upper 90 day, top 90 day, where they take our entire market and break it into quarters. The 100,000s, the 200,000s, the 300,000s, and then it gets to 500,000 and up. And when you look at the data of properties with price decrease according to market segment, the story for our area becomes a little bit clearer. If you're a home buyer or home seller, you need to know this information. Make sure that you are aware of this information because this really is critical in your pricing strategy for your selling or your purchasing of your home. So the homes in the 200,000s and the 300,000s up to around 400 are most frequently experiencing price decreases. And I'm going to suggest to you the reason for that is that people that are buying in this range, they're obtaining financing and their budgets are tighter. And so everything has to be precise. They're going to be a lot pickier about certain details. They're going to be a lot more strict on upgrades and, and things like that, that they know they're going to need to make because budgets are tighter. There's not a lot of wiggle room. And so they're looking for the home that fits their exact criteria. That's not going to require a lot particularly in terms of cash out of pocket. When you get into the bottom 90 day, a lot of these homes are more frequently cash purchases. And even if they're not, and mind you, this chart is not showing condos and townhouses. That's a separate report. The houses in this range are already priced so closely, but when you get into the 200,000 to 300, $400,000 range, a seller could have their home priced off on the overside by 20, 30, $40,000. And that's just not going to fly with buyers who are obtaining financing and are on a limited budget. And so the negotiation becomes much tighter in that range. And so that's what we're seeing. Home prices are going up, but that's having a negative impact in a range that's much tighter in terms of negotiations typically 
as it is, combined with these consumers are paying higher interest rates in terms of the cost of money that they're having to obtain to get the house. And so that's just something to keep in mind if you're buying or selling, specifically if you're selling in this range, if your house is anywhere from $225,000 to $425,000 or $450,000, I'm going to suggest to you that having a very accurate understanding of your home's value in relation to the buyer market currently is going to be really important if not having to have your home sit on the market for a long time and then have a price decrease, which hurts your negotiation power as you get into the second half of that listing agreement, right? Making it susceptible to selling for an even lower price. And we've seen some of this, then you want to make sure you have a good pricing strategy laid out. That's always going to be super important, but especially right now in Florence, if you're in these middle two portions of our market. And so the big takeaway that I want to leave you with this week is have a good understanding of where you are in the market. Right now, we're, we're seeing this. If you have a $300 plus thousand dollar home, anything in the 200s, 300s, going into the 400s, like we discussed, then you don't have as much wiggle room in your pricing strategy if you want to get the home sold. It's just the way that it is. Buyers are having to pay higher interest rates than they did a couple of years ago. And there's not a lot of relief in sight for that in the immediate future. And there's not a whole lot of them in the market. So they don't have to compete with a lot of other buyers also. And they know that, or they're being told that most likely by their agent and they're not going to overpay. So they're looking to precisely price and value homes before putting in an offer or the offer they're going to put in is going to match that line of thinking. If you're looking to sell your home and it's anywhere from 200,000 to $400,000, then the pricing strategy of the home is going to be critical if you are a very motivated seller. So it's just something to think about. And likewise, if you're on the buying side, you can afford to be very critical and very precise in the price that you're paying for homes. If you're in that range also, because you're going to have a little bit more negotiating power, a little bit more leverage, not to steal a home from somebody, but to really make sure that you're getting it right at value. And so again, as always, if you have any questions about anything that I've said on today's episode, then you can leave a comment down below. You can also reach out to me. You can email me, call or text me, and I'd be happy to speak with you and answer any questions that I can. Likewise, if you would like a complimentary home valuation or to set up a complimentary buyer's consultation so that we can look at entering into our market now and get your home sold or purchased, then please reach out to me. I would love to talk with you today. And in the meantime, I wish you guys all the best in your real estate endeavors and y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.